Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you love my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Okay, Tony asked me about making cheesecloth char cloth. If I could do a video about it. I cannot. My neighbours are home and they lose their minds if I start making char cloth. Because of the smell. Um, I did make a little batch this morning because they were away but I just checked and their car's home so I can't do it um I'm sorry about that mate I just can't take the risk because I'll help they'll call the council as soon as I do it um yeah I will go through the whole process I won't start it up because even though that little tin only produces a little bit of smoke and it usually flames for about a minute doesn't produce all that much smoke I just can't can't afford to upset them because they've got absolutely no um, sense of humor about it at all anyway exactly the same process as making any other char cloth I've been getting my cheesecloth from the dollar store now bargain plus which is just a dollar store here in Australia two dollars fifty for exactly the same cheesecloth that I was getting off eBay, 145 by 91 centimetres. So that's the cheesecloth. It's still 100% cotton, um, made in China. Everything is. Um, I've been using this. It burns up exactly the same. This is all made out of the same stuff. So yeah, um, what I do is cut it up. I've got a couple of little bits in there now. I cut it up into strips that long. So I unwrap it out and then cut it up into little strips that long and then roll it up into little cigars. I normally don't do it, advocate doing it like this for ch normal cloth, uh, normal whatever like denim or whatever then i put about four in that little tin so one two three and then four um i don't overpack it put it on there it's got the hole in the top put it on there and then turn it on this process usually for that little tin takes about three minutes four minutes for it it'll smoke a little bit and then a jet of flame comes out there and it's all over in about three minutes. It cooks up really quick. Then, um, oh, it produces, each one of those little rolls produces one of those, which is, as you've seen me use, is one of those little bits. When I do this, I don't rip it or anything like that. Um, it's a little bit harder because I've got stuff in the way. But you've noticed if I've been doing, as I've been doing this, demos a fair bit with this cheesecloth. You don't have to rip this stuff because it takes a spark very very easily um, and see those sparks that it fires out when you're blowing it those sparks go through your through your tinder bundle and that's what gets the things going really quick so yeah I have really embraced this stuff um, if you want to get tinder bundles going fast this is the stuff to do it it's it's incredible it's the best char cloth you can make for oh if i don't make noises and break my bloody really nice striker um it's the best char cloth you can make for most tinders hard tinders are no good um, pine cones, that sort of thing. You've got to use too much, it burns up too quick. Um, fatwood's harder, you just have to use a lot of it. 
um, yeah, but for normal soft tinders like um, pine cones, jute, um, grass, that sort of business, um, yeah, this stuff is as good as steel wool. So it's effective and it works really, really well. I'm sorry, Tony, about not being able to do a full demonstration on how to cook it. But the procedure's exactly the same. I just cut it up into... The, I do it slightly different. I just cut it up into those little rounds, uh, little cylinders. So I've got four of those little cylinders. And they just... They cook up and they seal up into those little rounds. And I don't take them... I don't unfurl them. So, yeah, and I would normally not advocate having things touch the, the sides and that because it normally gets brittle, but I've found that this stuff doesn't seem to get brittle. So, yeah, and just make sure you clean the top of your tin because that um, cause you'll get a bit of residue on your cloth. But, yeah, other than that, it will, um, it won't, if, if everything's clean, it doesn't seem to overcook too much. Yeah, just as soon as all the smoke stops billowing out or the flame stops carrying on, it's usually cooked pretty much. I would not stuff more than three or four in their little tin like that because it gets overcrowded. I did start stuffing a few more and it started to get overcrowded and then it wouldn't cook properly. So, yeah, but... um three or four is about perfect for that little tin i haven't done any big batches of this stuff because um i didn't want to do too many i've got two of these and my bigger tin and that's all i'm doing at the moment um yeah i don't want to have too much of it on hand because um i don't want it to start degrading but i am using it up fairly quickly because you do use that is I'm not overselling how effective it is, but it burns up very quickly. So it's a trade-off. This stuff, it burns up quick, so you're going to use a lot of it. So that's the trade-off for it. But it's so darn quick that if you're on the ball with it, you don't need a lot of it. So, yeah. But just use a lot of it. It gets things going quick. So, yeah. But anyway, that's... I thought I'd run through my procedure for it. Um, take take what you can from my video. Um, yeah, but as I said, I don't want to get in trouble. I try not to annoy them too much. Um, I've got to live here, so. And they bought, so they've got to live here too. But anyway, um, that's how I make my cheesecloth char. And it's no different, really, than any other char cloth. So, yeah, it's, it's all the same um, business. I wouldn't suggest doing too big a batches of it. Just use your little... Use... Just use a little... Like maybe a bit bigger tin than that to hold it in. and Just do... I wouldn't do more than one of them at a time, at the most. And just have that on hand, one, one at a time. But I've got... I think I've got 15 of these now, so 15 times 2 yards, 30 yards and stuff. But I, every time I go to the um, to the Bargain Plus, I buy two more, so, you know, but they're only $2.50 each, it's only 5 bucks at a time, so, you know, it's, uh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't bother me, so, yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching.